Hi everyone, uh, as usual, today you are hearing from Isa Musa Poultry Farm. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to my channel for more video upload. Uh, comment, like and share for other people to benefit from the information we are passing across. And uh, if you have already subscribed to my channel, please uh, turn on the notification button in order to be notified whenever we made a new update. Uh, thank you. Uh, in today's video, we are going to talk about the result of the correction that we did for our day old uh, Belgium guinea fowl and uh, uh, noila chicken uh, for the split legs, or you call it leg, leg paralysis, uh, or maybe leg deformity in day old chick. As we said, no chicken is perfect, uh, meaning all chicken have defect of one sort or another. So as you can see in this video, after uh, it, it is barely 24 hour after we made the correction for them we tie a rope in between the two legs we make sure we do not tie it too well in order to not to avoid uh, blood from uh, flowing to the toe area so that uh, there will be a good circulation passing across from the uh, above the knee to the toe area so as you can see, uh, we are now untying them. Uh, they are already working properly. Uh, it is just uh, a 24 hour after we did the correction for them. So as we said, uh, normally what is causing this kind of uh, leg deformity problem or maybe leg paralysis or you call it a split leg, uh, most of the time uh, in the incubation process or maybe after the incubation, uh, when you put in the hatcher, uh you found that uh maybe the surface of the hatcher is too slippery so the leg will slide on the other side so you can see after we remove the tie that we put now they can actually work properly so this is how we do it you can also try this uh, method in your farm when you have a problem like this uh, this method can be applied for all the poultry breed that you have in your farm, not only guinea fowl, not only uh, chicken, you can apply this method for ducks, you can apply this method for goose, you can apply this method for turkey, and so many other poultry that you have in your farm. And uh, when you apply this method, uh, make sure you make an observation uh, to look at the toes in order to see maybe if the color is changing or maybe uh, you close it too, uh, too tight that blood is not circulating properly so in case we have uh, this kind of problem you have to take and check it and then you cut it uh, you remove the the rough that you put or whatever you method whatever thing you use then you have to remove it and then retie it again and uh, you have to do it uh, in a way that uh, you won't hurt the chicken, uh, the cheek. And uh, after uh, it is uh, maybe after some time when you notice that maybe they can now work properly, then you have to take it and remove the rough and then you observe to see how they are working. And uh, if they can work properly again, then that is the result that we are looking for. So in this video, uh, we are trying to summarize the result of uh how we corrected the split leg in our uh, newly hatched belgium guinea fowl and uh, noila chicken that was hatched in our farm at isa musa poultry farm uh, uh this is coming to the end of this video uh, and i hope we're gonna meet in the another session of another video that we're gonna make and uh, thank you for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed uh the information we pass across and uh, if you like please do comment and share for other people to also benefit thank you very much and uh, god bless you all uh, this is uh, isa musa poultry farm that we are sharing this information to you all across the world thank you have a good day